Hey guys, Monochrome here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Genuinely good to have you. This video is going to be a bit different than what you guys are used to on my channel. First of all, no, you haven't accidentally stumbled onto my Dauntless ASMR channel. And no, this is not going to be a pen review, although I might review this pen sometime in the future. What this is, and I'm sure you can pretty much figure it out by having read the title, and no, this is not a clickbait title. Those of you who have been with me for quite a while, you know I don't do clickbait titles. I don't do that BS. That's something other content creators do. I don't. The title is 100% accurate. And I'm going to address the 800 pound gorilla in the room. The thing that everyone knows about, they see it, they don't talk about it, they don't mention it, and then eventually some guy walks into a room and he's like, hey, what's that gorilla doing standing there in the freaking corner? Yeah, I'm that guy. I think by now some of you who have been with me for quite a while, you've figured that out already. So this is me being that guy. Exactly one full week ago, seven days ago, YouTube or Google or maybe both decided to pull a really obscene, disgusting bit of BS. Here's what they did. If you have a smartphone, like I do, and you enjoy accessing YouTube from it, now let me be clear, I don't mean the mobile version of YouTube, commonly known as M.YouTube. No, I don't mean that one. I mean YouTube proper. If you enjoy accessing YouTube from your smartphone, a week ago you got a message that was basically an e-wall that said, hey, you need to upgrade. Now, unlike a lot of messages that might pop up where you have a skip option, there was no skip option. If you tried accessing YouTube, you ran into a giant electronic wall disguised as a message saying, upgrade your YouTube experience, or some such BS along those lines. And you had to upgrade. There was no option to skip, none. You had to upgrade. Even if you switched your phone off, and started it right back up again, you still ran into that electronic wall telling you, hey, you need to upgrade. Now what they didn't say was, hey, you need to upgrade or screw you, you're not accessing YouTube until you do. But that's basically what it was. So okay, you needed to upgrade. All right, that means you had to go to the Google Play Store and upgrade YouTube to the latest version on your phone. Only problem was, yeah, the freaking upgrade didn't work. It didn't work. Now, I don't know about you, but during my breaks at work, I enjoy going to YouTube on my mobile device. And I didn't appreciate being locked out of it. Keep in mind, keep in mind something very important. I did not violate any of YouTube's terms or conditions of use. I did not violate any of Google's terms of conditions of use didn't violate any of their rules, 
their regulations, their conditions, none of it. And yet I, along with everyone else who had a mobile device trying to access YouTube proper, we were basically told with that e-wall and the message on it, screw you, upgrade now, or you're not going to get to enjoy YouTube. And again, yes, there is m.youtube that you can go to. But let's face it, guys, it's, it's not really the same thing. Not really. It's like a downgraded version of YouTube. And who wants that? So, I spent literally about an hour and a half And thankfully, there are certain things I can do at work in which I can leave my phone alone and hopefully the upgrade will go through while I'm off doing something else. That's one of the few benefits of a night shift job. But here's the thing, guys. I basically had to be by my phone. So we're talking an hour and a half total time, me being by my phone, trying to access this stupid upgrade option on the Google Play Store, and it just would not work. Finally, I did some things where, you know, I deleted some apps. Well, I didn't technically delete them. I deleted the upgrades to certain apps, went with the basic version of those to free up some space. And then I did a few other things as well on my phone. And finally, the stupid upgrade went through and I was able to use YouTube again. Now here's the thing, guys. Please don't misunderstand. I'm not here making this video whining about, oh no, I couldn't get into YouTube. Where's my electronic pacifier? I need my YouTube. No, no. The reason why I'm making this video is because when you think about it, some programmer decided to behave like a hacker and basically prevented a whole ton of people from accessing what they should have been able to access on their computer. Now, yes, I get it. It's some piece of worthless human garbage with programming skills hired by Google or YouTube to do this. They gave him an order and he just blindly followed it. Very nice. That isn't the main point either. Here's the main point. Imagine going to your bank and using one of their nowadays electronic ATM machines just to access account balances and you're told the only way you can access your account balance is to agree to a $1 fee that applies each and every single time you want to do that. You have to agree to a $1 fee as an example and it's automatically taken out of your account and as soon as you agree to it, well, here you go, sir or madam. Here's your account balance. Sound ridiculous? Here's something else that sounds ridiculous. YouTube or Google preventing you from accessing YouTube unless you agree to an upgrade on your smartphone. Sure, the upgrade is free, but that's not the point. Maybe next time it's not going to be free. Maybe they'll charge you a dollar. 
or two or five or ten. Maybe that's what's going to happen in the future after people accept this garbage. I mean, imagine going to a website a hell of a lot more important than YouTube. Imagine having to access your funds or your credit card information and your bank or your credit card company tosses up an electronic wall with no skip option saying hey if you want to access what you have every right to access in the real physical world you're going to have to agree to this new condition and maybe or maybe there won't be a fee involved but you still have to agree to it before you can access what's yours. Sound far-fetched? No, it isn't. I tried accessing YouTube. I had every right to do so because I didn't violate any terms or conditions of use and I got locked out of it until I agreed to the upgrade. I was forced to get the upgrade just like a whole ton of individuals were who wanted to access YouTube proper on their cell phone or their smartphone. This has far-reaching consequences. This time around, it was just a free, you have to upgrade. Next time around, there might be a fee being charged. Next time around, it might be your credit card company doing this to you. It might be your bank doing this to you. That's the 800 pound gorilla in the room. That's the great big scary threat that for now is just standing there quietly in the room staring at everyone scanning the room. At any second things could get a hell of a lot worse. I mean here you have some piece of human garbage programmer, some worthless piece of human garbage who happens to have programming skills. What the hell gives him the right to lock anyone out of a website in which they haven't violated any terms or conditions of use? What the hell gives him the right to toss up an electronic wall that says, nope, you can't access what you want to access and should be able to access because you haven't done anything wrong. Nope, you're not getting what you should be able to get. And you have some programmer who's just following orders Honestly, it makes me sick. It does. And you guys need to think about this. There are far-reaching consequences. This time, it's just a free upgrade. Next time, it could be something a lot more severe. Think about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe.